ODB and today we're gonna be working on the 2012 Mustang we're gonna be doing the oil change it's ODB today we're doing a oil change on a 2012 Mustang right there it's the V6 version 3.7 uh, it takes 5 5w20 oil altogether it takes six quarts uh, me personally I like to put one quart of the Lucas synthetic um, just stabilizes a bit you know I don't know for me I like it if you don't like that you can just get an extra quart of mobile one or whatever oil you're gonna use uh, last time I used real purple worked out pretty good heard some things about this so we're giving it a shot now uh, as far as the oil filter it's a Ford Motorcraft FL 500 S that's gonna be the oil filter you need. That one works perfectly fine for the full synthetics. Um, got a catch can here and a funnel. I don't want to get no oil on the car, you know. And let's get started. To mention you're gonna going to need a 15 millimeter, 15 millimeters, and an eight. The eight millimeter is gonna be for the plastic cover, and then this is gonna be for the actual oil drain plug for the 15. All right, so you wanna get under the car. We got ramps. I don't know, I don't like jacks. So. Um, there's three, three bolts. There's one here. One here. And one right down here. It tells you right here, remove for oil services. So you remove these three bolts. One, two, three. And on mine, it is an eight millimeter. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. But, uh, They all turn left, lefty loosey, very tidy. If you don't know that, there you go. Yeah, so once you get the three bolts off, this front part that you got the bolts off from pulls down, and there's hooks in the back that just let that piece hold on. So this piece doesn't come off. It, it's gonna stay attached see you can't take it off I mean you can if you want to break it and be stupid but don't do that there would be your oil filter right there so we're removing this I need to push this all the way back it goes all the way back to where it's completely out of your way and oil will drop straight down and miss should miss this I didn't get any oil on it last time I did it so like I said, make sure to push it back. So yeah, once you got this pushed back all the way, it's gonna pop a little bit. Like you'll hear it, it'll pop, like just kind of pops into place. And then you wanna put your oil pan down here so you can catch the oil. All right, so once you get your catch pan in place, put it right underneath the oil filter and start cranking that left. Probably best to get a oil filter loosener, but this works too. Put that drain into a can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't open it much more than that. I mean, it's draining pretty good now. Let that stop, and then take your oil filter off. It didn't take too long anyway. Keep turning left. 
Now careful when you take it off because there's probably still oil in it, you know? Left, left, left. Now don't do this when your car is super hot. I mean, you're going to burn yourself all stupid. Like I said, more oil is going to come out, so pull that out. I like to dump the oil in there. And then that's what it looks like right after, and then you let it drip for a bit and stop. Alright, and then playing around, you know? So just get it. A little bit on your finger. And you just want to lubricate the gasket. Some shop towels. Get some shop towels or something like that. Bring it out. Now tighten it till it's, till it's tight, but don't over tighten it. You'll, you'll know when it's too tight. Like now I can't push it anymore by hand, I'm pretty sure it's too tight. At this point if you want to give it an extra turn with a oil filter remover, just give it about a quarter of a turn and you should be good there. And that's that for the oil filter. So now we can replace this and replace your three screws. Tighten. Tighten these ones good. These ones you wanna tighten until they're they're tight. These are bolts. So they're meant to be. So once you got one, two, and three all replaced, now you can move your catch can to the back right here. And this is gonna be your oil pan. And on the other side of this. And your bolt's gonna be right here. Now, that's where the 15 comes into play. So when you're taking this off, make sure to set it to the left, turn it left. Shouldn't be too hard to break. Like I said, get your pan ready. It's gonna shoot out this way. So just make sure to line up the bottom, kind of near the edge of this. Now careful for your finger, I like to do it from the top because oil is coming out. And you know, keep your face back, you don't want no sport, uh, splash on you either. And then there's that. And then the bolt, you can take that and uh, just clean that with another, another rag. And we're going to sit here for a minute, let us do its thing, clean it off, plug this back in and then fill up the oil. And then that's it. At this point, I went and got clean rag. Clean up the bolt pretty good, you know, just a little bit. Now you wanna leave some oil on the gasket part of the, of the bolt. There's a little gasket inside the bolt. I don't know if you can see it, if you can see it or not. Let this drain, and like I said, make sure your plug on top of your engine is open so that way the flow can just come all the way through. Let that drain, and then once it completely stops draining, you're gonna wipe this off, all this little part around here, any part that has oil, and then like I said, replug this back in, and uh, we'll get that going here in a sec. All right, um some people like to let it drip all the way till it stops dripping if you want to do that it's probably going to take around 20 minutes so go inside make a fucking sandwich or something do whatever the fuck you want to do but it's going to be a little while but once it stops like I said you're going to oil up the little gasket a little bit plug it back in turn it right a little bit make sure to clean up any little extra drip there is under there Go ahead and start tightening it up. So get your 15 again. 
change it to Titan mode. Tightened up. Now you don't want to tighten it too much. Um, that's about good enough right there, you know. Just muscle strength, don't over muscle it. Um, you don't want to break your your bolt inside of your oil pan. That would suck balls. Um, tighten that up and that's it underneath. Now we're just gonna add the oil and that's it. That stuff is a little thicker than oil, so it likes to go in nice and slow. Alright, so once that one's all empty, then start pouring your oil. Now, every car is different, so before you add all six quarts, leave like a half a quart left and check your oil stick before adding any more some people might have to add a little less so there's still about maybe a quarter of a quarter in here left and we'll go ahead and check it get a rag or something now you always want to wipe it off the one time get it get it clean before you get an actual reading so when you pull the oil stick out you want the oil level to be near the top of these of these little ridges right here so it's basically like right up here. If the oil comes up to that dot, it's it's full enough. You don't want it passing that dot. Um, that's over full. You want it just at those cross edges. And when I just checked mine now with five quart, five and three fourths quarts, it was right at that line. So I'm not gonna add any more. That is it. For uh, after you. Place that, clean it off, replace it back in. Same thing with this. And it can only go one way. That is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. 2012 V6 3.7 Mustang.